Hi Aries, welcome to your end of July 16th through the 31st Love Connection reading. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. My name is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. And um, any and all information that you need about me and uh, readings, etc., please do check the description box below for all that information. Uh, thank you so much. So this is for uh, who you have in mind, anyone that you're thinking of, any kind of situation, any kind of love connection, whether you're in union, not in union, uh, happy relationship, crush, whatever it is for you, we will see what we get and you probably will know right away whether or not this resonates with you. It is a general collective reading for Aries, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. Um, all that is in the description box if you're new to tarot. You can read the description box below on how these work and how it may or may not resonate for you. Um, so we're just going to get started here for Aries. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have tipped and donated, uh, thank you so much. And those who have uh, purchased private readings, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so this is for Aries. So this deck here, this is a Zodiac Oracle. We will get a uh, card here to see what could be affecting you in love for the end of July. Now we may get a planet, a sign, or an element. So we'll see what is going on here. So the last spirit can we have one card for Aries for the end of July in love, in their love connection. What is the energy like? Sign, element, or planet. Can we have one card, please, spirit, for Aries? One card. Oh, there we go. Earth. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And Earth is a very um, stable energy, secure energy. It's all about growth and abundance. It's about being practical and stable and being very earthy and grounded. So uh, we'll see. See how that plays into your reading. I'm just going to check, uh, see if there's any thing I missed with Earth. Let's see. Stable, secure, abundant. Uh, promotes long, leisurely pleasures. The things we need, the things we want, and the material and temporal things we value are expressed here. So it's all about material things also. So I don't know. I'm just getting a message. Maybe work and finances are affecting your relationship right now in some way for some people. All right. So let's get one card. This is the Lover's Oracle. We will get one card, how you're feeling, how your person is feeling. But first, I almost forgot, I want to get an overall uh, love message about you and your connection. All right. So we have, well, we have sexual union <laughs> here. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So, um, even though it says sexual union, uh, maybe you're just very attracted to one another. It's a very strong bond here. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's get one for your person. One for you and one for your person. Sorry. Okay. So for you, we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept, the current situation will automatically transform. So maybe um, they have to earn your trust. You have to trust in them and your connection and the situation, this love connection, before I'm getting... Um, there can be this sexual union between the two of you because the earth energy is all about value and worth. It's like you know your self-worth, you know your value, and you just don't, <laughs> I'm getting give it away to anybody. So that could be where the earth energy uh, comes in here. And it's all about trust for you. So let's see. See, this could be a new relationship. I'm feeling this for your person. Reflection. Give each other space at the moment. Trust, wow, and you have trust on your side. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So, you know, maybe they feel the same way because this is reflection here. 
So they could feel also the same way. And you both know that this has to be a very earthy, stable, grounded relationship before this union can come together in that way. Wow. Or maybe they really need to reflect on their actions, how they're thinking, feeling. Maybe they want it right away and you're like, no, I have morals, I have values, as with the earth energy, and I want to wait. And they're reflecting like, you know, over the whole situation. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have only time will tell. So whatever that means for you, only time will tell. Where this goes, how it plays out. All right. So let's get some tarot for you, Aries. This is the cosmic tarot. Aries. If you feel like you can flip-flop the energies if you feel like this is you and that's them, then feel free to do that. Flip-flop the energies all throughout, however they play into your situation. All right, so why does Aries have trust here? Can we have a card? Well, yep, so we got two here. We have the Hierophant and we have the Prince of Pentacles. So the Hierophant, yep, you, you want this to be a committed relationship before you just give your goods away. <laughs> You, you know, you have to trust in this connection. It has to be committed. It has to be pure. It has to be um, of value. And the Prince of Pentacles here, that is, you want to make sure your person, that's communication with the Prince. Um, no, wait a minute. That is the Knight. That is the Knight of Pentacles. So you want to make sure they're coming from a very stable, grounded place, as with the Earth energy. So they could be an Earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and the Hierophant is Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. If not, that's fine, or maybe those signs play into the chart somehow. But um, you want to make sure here that they're coming in, and the Knight of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, is usually an energy, a Knight that has a lot of value and worth. They're stable and grounded. They're willing to work on it. They come and they stay, they don't leave, they're in it for the long haul. So maybe you even wait, maybe you even want to wait until you're married for some of you. Or your person does here. And you see an offer here, so maybe you know you're waiting, maybe you're waiting for an offer of some kind from them. Alright. So let's get one for your person. Why does your person have reflection here. And I wasn't supposed to shuffle, so I guess I am supposed to for this one. All right, so we have strength. So now we have Leo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So, you know, they feel this is a very, very strong bond. They feel very strongly about you. They do have tolerance and willpower. They are courageous and brave. So they're seeing at you as, you know, someone who has a lot of inner strength and courage and willpower and the ability to hold back, have that inner strength to hold back. Maybe it's been very tempted, very close, but they know you have morals and values and you're a very strong-willed person and you don't give up so easily and you can hold back and you do have willpower. Wow, okay. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here. Put these like that. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so, so we have Eight and Five of Swords, that's Air Energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have the Two of Wands, which is Fire Energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. So connecting you to this connection is the Eight of Swords. So uh, you could be all up in your head, can't get out of your own mind about this connection for some reason. Uh, maybe you've been very tempted, um, and you're not sure what's going to happen, what's, you know, only time will tell. So maybe you're just very in your head, and you don't know, like, what's going to happen in the future if I don't give in and we don't have this 
sex? Is he going to leave me? Is he only in it for sex? I feel like you're just going around in circles, round and round in circles in your mind about this connection. And then connecting to them, though, is the Five of Swords over here. So I feel like, you know, and the Five of Swords energy can be that energy of just doing anything to get ahead, doing what you want for you, and you don't care about other people. You don't care what happens. You don't care about the outcome. It's just a uh, win at all cost. So I think they really want to win you over. They want really want to be with you for the long haul here, and they'll do anything to be with you because you have the two of wands here with the fire energy. So this is, you know, it's connecting the two of you together. So that's making a decision uh, about the future. This is moving ahead. This is um, planning and making decisions for the two of you about your future moving ahead. So I think you need to let go of fear and anxiety in your mind. I see you want them to be stable and grounded. Come in with, a, with an offer of commitment or even engagement or something like that. And they see your worth and your value with the strength energy here. They know you are a person of value. And I think they really reflect on that. I think they really appreciate that in you. And they, they don't want to lose you. They'll do anything to keep you. And if that means holding off, I think they will do that. Because you see this man just laying here, giving up, like, okay, I give up. I'll wait. And you just need to let go of these circles around and around in your mind. Because you do see happiness and abundance with the sun back here on this card. So any plans moving forward with this person look bright and happy and victorious. So let's see what your advice is with this connection. So we have the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. Wow, two, three. So threes can indicate sometimes third party. Um, but it doesn't have to be another person. So ear energy with the swords and fire again with the wands. So waiting, the three of wands here is an energy of waiting, waiting for your ship to come in, waiting for this person to come in to you with a solid offer of, you know, commitment or relationship or something like that. And, you know, you don't want to get your heart broken with the three of swords energy here because something here if I feel like if you maybe even give in to this connection too soon too early it may change the dynamic for some reason even though I feel like this person is here to stay even with the five of swords energy I mean they really see you as somebody secure strong and stable and they don't want to lose that they'll do anything to keep you and your advice is to wait wait see what happens in the future here and don't do anything out of spite to cause this uh, heartache with the Three of Swords uh, energy. So there's a need to avoid this Three of Swords energy to uh, heartbreak, sorrow, uh, whatever that is for you. If you maybe been ignoring them, I think maybe it's hurting them and they're waiting for you and you're waiting. It's like you're waiting for each other, waiting on this uh, relationship, this connection, and both feeling heartbroken without each other. You see the star and the sun energy here, so a lot of happiness, joy, and healing energy here. So I, I'm being told to turn this Three of Swords upside down because that'll bring an end to this heartache or this separation or um, pain that you may be both feeling, so there's a need to avoid that. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's get an outcome card, the Ace of Swords. So yeah, somebody needs to open up here with the Ace of Swords, uh, air energy here. This is uh, big conversations, big communication, big, open, honest, clear cut communication needs to be had. Any energy surrounding this um, connection needs to be cut away. And this is the sword of victory. So I mean, there can be a new, brand new beginning here in having this victory with this person, this sort of victory, but there needs to be some communication here, open, honest, truthful, trusting, clarity and communication between the two of you. I'm feeling like it's on a standstill right now for some reason. All right. 
So let's get some clarifications now. So we have the King of Swords. So there's that um, coming in as a King energy here. So definitely, I feel like your person needs to really step up to the plate here and speak up and have some clear, open, honest conversations here. The Eight of Pentacles, you know, willing to do the hard work in this connection here, working on it. Maybe what I'm getting with the third party is maybe one or both of you work a lot and kind of put the other on the back burner, whether it's you or them. Because that's what I was picking up with the Three of Swords energy. can be doesn't have to be like a person. can be anything anyone does too much of that affects their, their uh, connection with another person. So the Eight of Pentacles energy here, that's, you know, working. And that is, you know, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, I mean, one of you could just be overworking and um, it's really having an effect on this connection here. And maybe that's why one of you has this mental blockage, whether it's you, could be you. Maybe they're working too much. And this is also an energy of needing and having and maybe even willing to put in the hard work in this connection to um, build a solid, stable, firm foundation and grow and build forward with this person the empress so again as i said over here you know your worth and your value i said that from the beginning and here is the empress to prove that and this is libra and taurus so it doesn't have to be but this is about growth expansion knowing your self-worth your value um the empress embodies every single queen she's the mother of the deck so you know your worth your value here and this connection the Four of Swords. So, yep, I, I definitely felt like your energy here of uh, there being kind of a pause, a break, people going into their own corners and not really um, conversing right now. This is an energy Four of Swords, you know, could be contemplating, thinking about this whole dynamic, um, what's going to happen in the future, only time will tell. Energy here of just retreating and contemplating. Maybe even healing over something. All right, so let's get some bottom of the deck energy. Four of Cups. So Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. So nobody's offering anything, you know, but but feeling, you know, nostalgic about each other, but not offering, like either afraid to offer or wondering if they're going to offer. Just nobody's making any moves here. Water energy here with the Four of Cups. And, you know, deeply thinking about one another. You know, the love is there, but nobody's making any moves with the horse there. Somebody needs to take action in this connection. The Queen of Swords. So now we have a matching couple. So this definitely could be a soulmate energy. Um, both needing to have this clear, open, honest, clear-cut communication, especially with the Ace of Swords, King of Queen of Swords. Yeah, communication is needed here. Three of Pentacles, working together, compromising, uh, coming together, teamwork, needing to put in the work, having those conversations, compromising, making compromises. The Eight of Wands, and there's a communication again, wow, fire energy, wow. So, yeah, communication, I don't know, maybe you just got close to the sexual union and then you backed off. And then now it's been kind of on a pause and a standstill and nobody's making any moves, taking any action. But now Eight of Wands here. I mean, it is an energy of passionate action, but also communication, whether it's even online, face-to-face, -face, traveling to one another, communication and travel. And here's the Page of Pentacles. Again, having honest, open, clear-cut communication, messages back and forth about stability, growth, expansion, and how to move this forward in a more stable way. All right. So, yep, I feel like it's on a standstill. Um, and communication is needed about this connection for the future. I feel like, you know, you've gotten close to the sexual union, but I feel like for you, um, that's something very sacred to you is what I'm getting, and you have a lot of value and worth in that, and you only do that when you know it's something pure and honest and true. All right, so let's see. Let's get some guidance. 
some guidance for Aries. Some guidance for Aries. One card, please. All right, thank you. Oh, we got two. Okay, so we have the High Priestess of Water. So this is using your intuition. This is all about emotions and feelings. So I definitely feel like, you know, I think you know this is your person. You intuitively know that. You have a lot of emotion and feelings towards this person. But yet, um, still, again, the High Priestess energy, nobody is speaking. High Priestess energy, they keep to themselves and they don't reveal anything. So, yeah, nobody's taking any action here and then we have 16 invisible so yeah you're feeling invisible both to each other here because nobody's communicating wow nobody's communicating and you feel like both feel like you're invisible to one another right now and you see the pool of emotions there or that's a mirror still reflection reflection mirror there reflecting one another thinking about one another bottom of the deck we have trapped so yep again with the eight of swords we had here trapped in your own mind way of thinking going round and round in your head only way to clear that up is to have this uh, conversation here this communication with your person all right Aries uh, please check my uh, playlist for past readings uh, links are in the description box if you like my style if you like how I read I connect with your energy please do like share subscribe comment I love to read the comments hit the bell you'll be notified I do bi-weekly love and general so don't miss that hit the bell and you'll get notified of when I post new reading so good luck to you in this situation I'm sending you much light love and blessings and as I always always say with my channel is to always always shine your light